Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.35 on this Monday. Uh, welcome back from the weekend. Hope you had a good one. Uh, today's topic is the Polyera Wove. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism of particle and momentum to receptors radiation are mathematic a solution asteroid what am i doing up um polyera wove so polyera is a company uh and their product is called the wove or it will be um they haven't made it yet and it's a it's a wearable electronic uh so this obviously is a fitbit that's not you know, that's not a polyera wove. Uh, but the wove is supposed to be uh, the latest in flexible uh, wearables. Um, and uh, not only that, uh, so, you know, wearables are anything that you wear that's electronic that does stuff. So, you know, the, the Fitbit's a wearable, the iWatch is a wearable. Um, there are wearables incorporated into clothes. Uh, so what's so special about the polyera wove? <sighs> the wove is supposed to be this, um, this flexible armband, um, which is supposed to be like the iWatch or these other, uh, uh, wearables with a screen. Um, but it's a little different in that the entire thing is a screen. <laughs> uh what they've been able to do or what they're claiming they can do they they're not really giving many details because i think they have a patent pending and uh they're going to make an announcement either later in the month or next month or something like that um like they've already made a brief announcement and they showed a picture and it looks like really cool actually um but they're going to release more details uh within the next month i think within the next 30 days or so um, and what they've done, um, their, their, their entire device, the entire wove is a flexible thing and, and they're claiming that it's a screen and that the entire surface area, you know what, I'm going to use either arm because that's confusing. The entire surface area of the wove is screen. Um, this is, you know, it's. We have other wearables like the the iWatch and the uh, there, there's actually a bunch of different uh, devices that that have a screen, um, but you know they're they're limited to a to a certain uh, certain space, a certain footprint, so to speak. Um, the idea here with the Wove is that you know screens. We've talked about flexible screens in the past and. I guess that's not hard to do these days. Um, a lot of devices have flexible screens. Uh, the issue is that the, the hardware that the screen resides on, all the electronics, those aren't necessarily flexible yet. And that's what the Wove has claimed to, to break. Um, you know, the, the electronics usually sit on a, on a, a board of some kind, some, uh, you know, you, you've seen you've seen electronic boards, integrated chips or whatever, um, and those are tend to be rigid. And so, a lot of the devices that have these flexible screens are not flexible because of the electronic portion. They, again, they're on this board that's that's pretty solid. So the wove has been able to take away that hard material, and they have electronics that reside on flexible material, or the electronics themselves are flexible. So like flexible transistors, flexible wires, whatever the case may be, the entire thing is flexible. And so they have been able to make the entire wove a screen. Um, it utilizes e-ink, which is the same stuff that you see on uh, Kindles. Um, so it's it's monochrome. Uh, they're not quite to the, to a color version yet, but even with monochrome, it looks kind of cool. Um, E-ink is also low energy consumption. Uh, so while it's not displaying information, if, if, if it's got 
just basic patterns or whatever you're not you're not draining battery for that um, which is kind of cool as well but once you do start showing information um, it's you know the the visual quality is like looking at a Kindle because it's using that that e-ink stuff um, and they're you know they're making this hardware now they're gonna release it to developers soon so that they can write the the software behind it I imagine they'll link it to various things like your phone you should be able to see or read um, caller ID stuff who's sending you text messages you could probably even read the text message and because you have the entire surface of the wove as a screen which is what they're claiming because you can make the whole thing a flexible screen uh, you get a lot more real estate to put more information so it's actually it, it's a pretty cool looking thing and it, it's actually kind of exciting because again it's it's probably the first time that we've pulled away from the the hard electronics to make the whole thing a flexible um, wearable so um, it, it should it should be a game changer uh, after the wove we I think so I'm pretty sure the patent on it is is the flexible electronics um, but I would think that you know once this comes to market uh, we're probably gonna see a wave of more flexible devices as opposed to hard rigid devices um, so yeah there you have it. Uh, the Polyera Wove, the latest in flexible electronics. I gotta head off to work. You've gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.